welcome to the party. It's your watch time, friend. If you're seeing me, if you're listening, then it's time to watch something. What's up guys, it's your girl D, and this is Watch Time Friends, where you watched up with me, your friend D, because my other friends don't like me enough to do it. Today we are watching Bel Air Season 3, Episode 2. Last time, um, we got a lot of updates, okay? Hillary's engaged to Marcus, I think his name is. Carlton's back from rehab, having to deal with uh, the consequences of his actions. Um, Viv is still mad at him or uh, feels a way. Uh, Ashley still feels a way towards him. Will uh, quit basketball and is going to start a business with Carlton. And someone is possibly coming after Jeffrey and his son. Among other things. So, yeah, I'm not going to hold y'all up. Let's watch something. <laughs> Oh, I, I forgot about that. That cannot happen. No, I agree. A bread pudding dessert bar. Chef toupees. Uncle Phil could use that. <laughs> about it. The freedom to drive around in peace without worrying about getting pulled over. The app would hack into local police scanners so you would know exactly where the speed traps are. No bad idea. Just an illegal one. Yeah. Also, you could just use ways. They usually tell you where the speed traps are. An online trading post for designer clothes. That's fine. You would totally use it. Absolutely. In fact, I already do. It's a very popular app called Depop. Dang. <laughs> dang, dang, dang. I mean, that's a little competition. Good morning. I was catching up on Quentin's reading list. Yeah, I love where your head's at, Will. Mm -hmm. But now that you're not playing basketball this summer, it seems like you got a lot of free time. Does he have free time? Get some hours at the country club. Hours? Oh, Quinn. Feels like he's busy studying. <laughs> I mean, you spend your days at the club anyway. I made a few calls. They're still hiring. Carlton, your father and I think you could use a job too. Wait, what? You could stand to learn the value of a little hard work. Yo, literally, what is happening? We we have to turn in our business plan this week, right? Look, man, we've been racking our brains and we got nothing. I think if you want to have an idea, we should be out there networking. You know. The country club is full of power players. It's full of kids we go to school with. That's the stairs, good the sad eyes, the how are you? You can't hide from life, son. This is non-negotiable. I mean, if you had to get a job anywhere, country club probably isn't the worst place. Well, I was pleasantly surprised you wanted the job. You've been a regular on our pickleball court. How are you, Carlton? I mean, really, how are you taking care of yourself? I am. And I will do anything to help. I'm going to hold you to it. Yeah, we would love the opportunity to grow our business skills. Uh, account management, maybe, maybe sales. Well, I'm afraid at this juncture the options are a little limited. We'd be happy to learn the business from the ground up. Good. I have something perfect for you two. Don't tell me we're gonna be pit pigs. It's what we call the cart cleaners. Well, you one of us now. Right. That's crazy. Carlson definitely needs this. <laughs> what do you have against the Marcus? I mean, he's fine enough, but he's no jazz. Okay. Anyway. What day? <laughs> Okay, so what are the plans for Sister Sister Day? Whatever you want to do. I'm thinking Manny Petty's lunch at Nobu, vintage shopping, and a quick stop at Charlie's Vinyl. That's it. That's it. Get that in there. You're not <laughs> slick. What? Jazz set aside a few albums for a new record player. And you said whatever I want. Mm-hmm. Carlton? Oh, you're back? <laughs> and you're working as a fit pig? Wait. Carlton doesn't need his resident dope dealer anymore, so uh Thanks. take your card and hit the green. Yikes. Okay, we are loaded and we are up next. Smith, right? I've been cheering you on every Bel Air Academy game. Sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm Connor's dad. Uh, stepdad. Well, well, listen, I appreciate that. I quit basketball for the summer. You know, me and Carlton started a business. Oh, well, yeah, trying to build some generational wealth like y'all. You feel me? Ah, good for you, son. Do you know what I am? Uh, I work for Google, so if you ever need anything, you know, like uh, an introduction or a, a connect, you let me know, okay? Oh, well, you do that for sure. Welcome back. See, this is going great. <laughs> Google. <laughs> hey, yo, fraternizing with the members is against policy. Okay, well, some of those members are actually our friends, so chill out. I'm not trying to hear none of that shit you're talking about, okay? When you're on the clock, you're one of us. Simple. Just be sneaky about it, that's all. You're talking to me like that. <laughs> Focus. You got to tell you something, so listen to it. Keep that left off. I got it, old man, yeah? I used to train at a boxing club in Angel Estates. I guess I still got a lot to learn about you. Same here. 
Like exactly what you're keeping me safe from. Look, you just have to trust me for now, yeah? Anything to do with the Hillboy Syndicate? You can't believe everything you hear, you get me? So you didn't kill a man? You might as well tell him he's a grown man. <laughs> okay. Ready for our next round, huh? You know, I respect the hustle, man, but what's up with y'all idea? Uh, actually, you know, we're still working we, out the right. details. Right, right, right. Program, because I saw something special. Nah, I promise you we won't let you down. You got 48 hours to pitch me on your business plan. Yikes. I gotta move on. Point blank. I mean, I wonder what he was gonna say to him if he had gotten the interview the first time. Like, what was his, what was Will's, like, did he have a business plan when it was just him or no? Demon season. Yes, applications are officially open. Oh, okay. And now you hold the keys to the kingdom. So from now until you announce the next fellow, you're basically the most powerful woman in the art world. Oh. Yeah. The dates got mixed up, so now I'm looking for a new caterer for my firm opening party tomorrow. Oh. I know your contact list runs deep. Any ideas? Uh, I got you. I got you. <sighs> most powerful woman, and yet I'm still my husband's party planner. Mm. Oh, dang. Jazz! Ash Bass, what's up? Let's make this quick, Ash. Quick. Seriously? Believe me, it's not my choice. Uh, what's this? Do dang. Tax. Nosy as heck! Just some store paperwork. You know, no big deal. It seems like a big deal, Jazz. What's going on? What's going on is I need to ring you up and get back to work, but thank you. West African inspired tacos. Ooh. Also, the chef is easy on the eyes. Sharif, this is Vivian Banks. Oh my God. <laughs> mm -hmm. What? It's good, right? You're hired. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I think you're hired. Mm. Mm hmm. I want some. Dang. Look, bro, you missed a spot. A, a few, actually. First of all, I ain't your bro. And nobody's gonna notice. I got way better shit to focus on. Right. No, they're definitely gonna notice that. You no, know, I used to see you in your little tennis shorts doing cannonballs in the pool and shit. What happened? All right. Did make you get a job? Relax. You don't know me, Zaire. My mama worked a double shift her whole life. I ain't scared of no hard work. I live in Inglewood, go to school in Brentwood. She's got some cool teachers looking out. You're a private school kid? Hey, don't get it twisted. You don't know my story either. All right. You could judge him, but he can't judge you. Okay. You can either complain about the system or you can make it work for you. I'm just looking for some inspiration for ideas, that's all. Oh, nah. See them tech guys, they get real chatty after a couple beers. One question, and they'll tell you how they started their whole empire. I mean, there's no one tell me, throwing away his entire future on a, a pipe dream. He wants to be a Bel Air kid so bad. <sighs> just trouble the ball. We're clear. All right. Amira really helped me through rehab. And I just don't want to lose that. She sounds really special. She really is. All I ask is that you keep an open mind. I'll talk to your dad. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to look over my discovery. I know you're busy with your own cases. To us. And an even more fruitful partnership than I imagined. Mm-hmm. I gotta ask, did you tell her about the kiss? There's nothing for Viv to know. We put it behind us, remember? We did. Just still feel a little guilty. Well, Pass. take it up on your own time. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Will. Uh-oh. Jackie just asked me to write her recommendation for her Juilliard application. Oh, okay, that's, that's dope. Congrats. Figured I'd shoot my shot. Oh, you're, you're leaving? Wait. <laughs> you look Been good. I was low-key bummed when I heard you left the team. Thought I'd be seeing you this summer. Doc said something went down with your pops. He told me that basketball was the only thing I was good at. My mom used to throw little shots about not having a dancer's body. But every recital, whose face was I looking for in the audience? But hey. Did she ever out. go? Miss Juilliard. <laughs> Maybe we're both. That's a big deal. Since they tried to put us in. Uh, uh, hold on now. Back up a little bit. Well, anyway, yeah. I should. No, thanks for, uh... Mm -hmm. All right, bye! <laughs> don't be a stranger. Will, please. Please. Don't mess up the thing with Lisa. After you... <sighs> hey, baby boo, you look new. 
I'm Spencer. Oh, is this his first meeting? Carlton, newcomer. Ah, <sighs> sit anywhere your little heart desires, preferably in the first two rows. Everyone's always trying to hide in the back. It hurts my feelings. I mean, it's a small room, so I'm sure every row feels like the front. Amira! Hey. Oh, brother, please. Please, what's happening? <laughs> what are you doing here? I mean, at this meeting. The one I told you I come to? I've been texting you. Please don't be. Please, you. please don't start stalking her, girl. Okay? Carlton, please. Just trying to set a boundary. I, I totally respect you wanting to put a pause on whatever this is, but... Mm -hmm. I don't have anyone else I can talk to about this stuff. Right, look, I need you. Hey, hey, hey. Don't turn your... Don't turn her into an addiction. You know what? You stay, and I will find another meeting. Well, now that you just called me a stalker out loud in front of everybody, I don't want to stay. <laughs> don't have to sit in the front row if you don't want to. Yikes. You guys can avert your eyes somewhere else? That'd be great. <laughs> How is it possible that we can't come up with one viable business idea? Maybe this whole pivot was a stupid move. Maybe we chuck it. Lean into this pit pigs thing as our natural calling. I mean, look, y'all get to give up. Try new things. Start over. Find yourself. Drop out. Quit. It don't work like that for everybody. Some of us, when we go down, we stay down. Still don't have an idea. <laughs> a lot of new businesses coming in. I might even lose my record shop. Like... I don't know, you know. Boy has got a lot of questions I can't answer. I think he's wearing thin. Maybe you should tell him the truth. Well, if there's one thing this Carlton situation has taught me, it's trust your kid to meet you halfway. Trust is a new one for me, Phil. What do you think about giving him a job at the firm? Give him some freedom, but you can still keep an eye on him. This looks great. Fantastic turnout. And your cater is a hit. Thanks again for pulling off a miracle, baby. <laughs> Oh, hey, Erica. Viv, oh, so good to see you. You look great. <laughs> All right. Some clients just walked in. <laughs> and I hear you're a brilliant fundraiser. We always need support. Yeah, we'd be happy to host something at the house. Oh, yeah. hold on. Oh, we? Something to that, baby. Okay, you said we, so it better be a we and not. <laughs> Let me in. Let's hope you swing my way. Oh, my God. Everything is perfection. <laughs> As long as the queen is happy. Uh, no, okay, so. All right, relax. Relax. Also, a chef. Your tacos were magnifique. Mm, thank you. I gotta be real with you. My mind is blown. How do you have an adult daughter? I mean, <laughs> you guys can be sisters. <laughs> <laughs> that fine ass chef was flirting with you like hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling daddy. <laughs> as you should, as you should. Oh my gosh, please. Jess. I heard a lot of businesses in your area have been struggling. Well, I'm always looking for opportunities to extend my investment portfolio. If you had any interest, I'd be happy to infuse the store with a little liquid capital. And with the vinyl market exploding the way it has. What? Stop, Jazz, pay attention. Focus, please. Right. Yes. I appreciate that, Mr. Mace. Yes, dang it. This Hello. Time. What? No. Who are you talking to? You know, I can't talk when Jeffrey's around. No, I, I swear I ain't said nothing. Jeffrey has no idea. Are you a spy? Okay. <gasps> okay, cool. I'll talk to you later. Oh, no. Is his son a spy? Yeah. Bruh. You've certainly been keeping my husband busy. Me? No, no. I mean, we do work Delicious. nights, but I swear, like, we, we put it all behind us. Is everyone enjoying themselves? Thank you. <laughs> you too. Have fun tonight. Hmm? What are you still doing here? The party's over. I don't need your charity. You told your dad to give me a business loan, right? I hope you took it. Hell no, I didn't take it. Of course not. Still so proud, still stuck in your own way. Okay, so check this out. I need you to stay in your lane and stay out of mine. Oh, really? Says I would have said no. I didn't do that. Every bank's family function? I mean, he is friends with your cousin. Oh, word? But you don't just pop up on my record shop? What are you talking about? I didn't want to do that. I told you that. That was my sister. Yes, your sister. Yeah, yeah, yes. Ashley loves me. And Will, he also loves me. And mm -hmm. now, your dad loves me. 
it seems as if Jazz is actually a great guy, Hillary. So if we hate each other so much, why do we keep ending up in the same room? I don't know. That's a good question. But, but, but wait, but wait, but wait, but wait, but wait. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> now, if you weren't engaged, this would be great. Um, I'm sorry. Gosh, dang it. Uh, this is tough. I want this to happen for you guys, but I want it to be without the complications. Like, I want you both to be single and all of that. Y'all came all the way down to the club and pulled me out my poker gun. What's up? You said 48 hours. We had to catch you before time ran out. So, we're mixing mm -hmm, up mm -hmm. with the heaviest hitters in the CEO game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And all I kept thinking was, how the hell does a kid like me get in a room like that? And then it hits us. We're the special sauce. Mm -hmm. We share our story. The addict mm -hmm. who got a second chance. And the West Philly basketball phenom who dared to reach for more. And then we brand our message, right? Turn it into some fly merch. I'm talking tees, sweats. Yeah, we could build this into books, events, podcasts. We want to build a conversation and a legacy. And we want to keep it 100 by giving some of the proceeds to black-owned businesses. Starting with Charlie's Vinyl in Inglewood. I fuck with Charlie's. We want to let the ladder down to lift the culture up. It's grand access. Mm. Same access that changed my life. That's what you're going to call it. Black access. That's hard. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. But all those dinners and fundraisers you volunteered me for, I ain't doing none of them. <laughs> I don't have the time. I'll do my best, but... You have different priorities that don't revolve around me and my every need. Yeah, that part. But my baby is a boss now. I like it a lot. And what was going on with your girl, Erica? What was she on? I mean, she definitely had too many drinks, that's for damn sure. Why, did she say anything to you? Every time I got near her, she'd find a reason just to run off. I wouldn't put too much on it. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, I feel so conflicted. Now, are you a spy? And is that why Jeffrey feels off? It's true. I ran with the Hill Boys. Started as a top boy. Oh man, so, I don't want him to tell him anything. I was good. Second in command, good. Then you came along. You made me want to be a different man. I went out in the game. My boss, even after years of serving by side, he, he tried to take my life. I fought back. It was him or me, you understand? He was a friend, a father, beloved by his youngins. Been hiding ever since. But they may have finally found me. They know who you are now. I need you close. That's why you're here. My you had a real meeting this time? Meeting. I didn't show up for me or my sobriety. My entire life, I've been an expert at lying to get my own way. Since I got out of rehab, I just want to make my family proud of me. But I think I'm still lying about the anxiety every time I leave the house, about feeling like a pariah every time someone whispers about me or doubts me. I just didn't know that I would feel this alone. Carlton, look around. You're not alone anymore, kid. Good. Relying on one person to be your, the sole bearer of all of your stuff, that was not gonna work. Razor view. Oh goodness, Sharif. Relax, please. She's a married woman. Link woman your assistant to him, Vivian. <laughs> I guess you owed him one. I I didn't see you in there. Um I hung in the hallway. You were brave and honest. Let a lot of people down multiple times. The thought of someone needing me. I shouldn't have put that on you. I'm sorry. But what scares me even more. I need you too. So, why don't we just be scared together? Oop. Is it bad? Probably. I just don't want it to be a situation where like, they, they possibly don't work out and then like, they both fall off the wagon real hard. Oh, also, Briggs wanted me to introduce y'all to our new yoga instructor. I actually think y'all know her. Hey y'all. You're on vid putting the good work for me. Gosh dang it. <laughs> oh, my mom is so messy. <laughs> Gosh dang it. I mean, 
I don't want you to talk down on her and not get her a job, but she could have let her, she could have put in a good word for her to work somewhere else that Will was not. All right. All right, so that was Bel Air season three, episode two. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad that Will and Carlton got their business idea together, the whole pitch, and the name. Sounds cool, and I hope it works out. I don't know if the program is supposed to be like, okay, like almost like Shark Tank, like you pitch us your business and then we help you get funds to like do the things because they all probably need, I mean, they were talking about merch and books and all that stuff, but you need like people to make the things like uh, print the stuff on the shirts or the whatever you sell. Or if you make a book, like you need a publisher and you need like, I don't know how that works actually, but <laughs> like, where do you get the books from? Where do you get the actual, the pages that make up the physical book? Um, along with other things, but anyways, yeah, so I'll still probably need to like network and work with other people, even though they've come up with their, their business, like they need people to help them make it a real thing. Um, and if they want products, make the products and, and then get the name out so that it actually makes money and that it actually like, you know, especially if they want to take that money and invest it into places like Jazz's, uh, record shop yeah so i hope it all works out so far so good though the one thing i was thinking about for sure though is this whole thing with um viv and uncle phil and his co-worker what's her name kelly something like that i don't know the thing is if i remember correctly she kissed him and he didn't kiss her back so it's weird because it's her, it's like it's her mistake right it's not like jazz and hillary like they kissed each other so in that case ugh, like ugh, that's not good but mm, i could see why it feels like you kissed me and i didn't kiss you back that's your mistake and i don't want to blow up my marriage for your mistake when i didn't engage but however also it doesn't feel good to have Aviv in the dark. And then when she's asking about it, now you're just going to lie. Like it just at that point, right? It's kind of like if you didn't feel like you did anything wrong or you don't have anything to hide, it should be like, uh, you'll never. Yeah, you never believe what she tried to do. Like she was tripping like kind of thing like uh i don't know but like if he starts lying to her and she's noticing things so and then trying to pretend like it's not happening like which is basically gaslighting um then it's gonna feel like okay now it feels a little shady and slimy you know let the co-worker feel bad she should feel bad she should but it's just i think it's like it's not really the kiss that is that is uncle phil's fault but it's his actions after the fact is making it feel like uh it's kind of icky yeah so i'm a little bit conflicted so yeah about whether uh, i guess he should just tell her so that she won't be she won't feel misled she's already she was misled by her son and lied to to by her son and now it's happening with her husband and she knows something's off. So it's just like, you know, she's already struggling to trust herself and her gut and like her instincts and stuff. And this is just going to make it worse. So, yeah, that's tough. Well, so far, so good. Nothing's imploded yet. I you, I really hope that Jeffrey's son is not like with the people that he ran from and that's how they found him is because he's with them and so jeffrey's trying to protect his son but his son brought the bad people to him like i really hope that's not the case because that would just be messed up like like you think you would understand or have a little bit of empathy or something if your dad ran away from people who are trying to kill him and he wanted to stay away from you to keep you safe 
because he knew people were after him. And you know how people are when they're after the one person and then they get get to them, they'll go after someone else that's close to them to to hurt them or whatever. So it makes sense. So I really hope he's not like you were never there as a kid. You could have stayed around. You could have da da da. Now that's true, but certain people they just they think there's different ways to to do things. So yes, he probably could have stayed, but he really felt like being dis distancing himself from his family basically would be the best way to keep them safe. And if you know that's what he was trying to do, then I don't see how you could be so upset about it that you would possibly team up with the people who are trying to kill him. All for wanting a better life for you, by the way. Which is also crazy to me. Like, that's so annoying how, like, apparently it's like people get you into the into the game and then once you want to get out they don't want to let you out because you're an asset to them like oh find somebody else clearly you're a good enough teacher you taught me you could teach somebody else like why do you why i don't understand trying to keep people stuck like trying to keep them with you like let if you act i guess that's the point but if you actually cared about them if they wanted to go on and do something else do something legit then you'd be like okay I mean, I'm. It doesn't. It, it, in the long run, it's not gonna stop you from making money if that's what you're worried about. It's not gonna stop you from making money if you let them go. Teach somebody else their job. Find a replacement. Or maybe you should get better at making money yourself. Like I don't understand. That's always been so dumb to me and so annoying. But anyways. <laughs> uh yeah i really enjoyed this show so far if you made it to this point of the video thank you so much for watching with me if you liked it you can leave a like and if you want to see more from me consider subscribing um if you're interested in seeing these reactions full uncut and early you can check out my patreon the link is in the description but other than that it's gonna be a wrap on this one but i hope to see you guys in the next one peace Welcome to the party, it's your watch time friend If you're singing me, if you're listening, then it's time to watch something Ooh.